YouTube. Thank you for coming to my channel, Junkin' with Janine. All right, so we are going to do a review today on a jewelry testing kit that I bought on Amazon. And honestly, I don't know a whole lot about what I'm doing, but you and me, we're going to learn it together. Okay, so we have our acid testing kit. We're going to test some gold. We're going to test some sterling. And we're going to see what we've got. I've got the testing stone. I'm going to show you everything that comes in the kit. So we've got the acids, which I've already unpacked here for you. We've got the magnifier, which is a 30 times magnifier because you really need to get in there and see some things. I also had a 10 magnifier um, that I bought before this kit. And quite frankly, I do like it bigger and better. It's always bigger and better. I mean, it's always better when it's bigger, right? Okay. So it also comes with a sample sterling and a sample gold so that you can make sure that you're testing correctly and compare um, if you're a little confused. Comes with a file kit um, and this is so that you can file down a piece of gold or a piece of silver to see if it's just plated or not. Um, you don't really want to destroy jewelry so we'll definitely not be testing these today um, but they do come with your kit. We also have a diamond selector. We're going to learn this one together because this, I think, can be a little confusing. Now, okay. If you've got a diamond, it's going to ring like that. If you've got a piece of metal, meaning you've slipped off of your diamond or whatever and you've hit metal, then you're going to get a sound like this. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. That. That's what it's going to sound like. Did y'all hear that? All right, so let's just try. This is just a piece of glass uh, jewelry. So we know it's not a diamond. So it's not making any noise. Okay. So now let's try the diamond. Okay. Now let's see how the metal does. That wasn't it, Jess. It's not supposed to sound like that, people. It's supposed to sound like that. Okay. So, basically what it's supposed to do is glass is really not supposed to register as anything. Or plastic. Metal is supposed to make a eh. Or nothing at all. And a diamond is supposed to do this. Okay. So... Let's move on because this is a little tricky. All right, you also get the scale, which I have already calibrated. And this is to measure your gold and silver in grams because when you do find your sterling and your gold, you're going to want to cash in and you need to know how many grams you got. So I've already calibrated it. I'm not really happy the fact that it doesn't really sit flat on the table. It didn't sit flat on the countertop either, so I know it's not the table. Um, but anyway, um, so if we were to weigh this earring, that weighs 7.44 grams. Okay. <clears throat> this is to help calibrate it. So with nothing on there, click the tear. And now you put that, the other piece on there and then you make sure it says 100 grams. Got it. Okay, so it says 100 grams. Thank you, son. You're so smart. <laughs> I'm so glad you're so smart. Our scale is calibrated. The thing that did not come in the te in the kiss t kiss test in the test kit that I was shocked about was a magnet because sterling and gold does not react to an earth magnet. So I do have an earth magnet right here that I had already bought. So um, I'll put a link in my bio for one of these as well because you are probably going to want one of those. So basically your junk gold is going to attach to your magnet. Okay. If it's sterling or gold, it should not react. And I'm going to show you a piece of that right here. Okay, Oop. that didn't work. Let's see, let me take this piece. 
because this is marked sterling. That's where I was confused. This is marked 800 parts sterling. Okay, so this was marked 800 parts sterling. Sterling is normally typically 9.25 or 925 sterling. So that's why I had this separated out because I was like, well, why does it say 800? Because it does magnetize. So I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to learn on this piece why that says 800 parts sterling, but it might not be sterling. Apparently there's a lot of fake sterling out there um, because people, you know, just want to stamp something and fool you and charge you for it. Okay, so this is definitely a sterling necklace. This I got in the Goodwill Blue Box this week, which you can go on to mystery box shopping and it's really fun because you never know what you're going to get. You're going to get some good stuff, going to get some bad stuff, you're going to get some sterling like this. And um, GoodwillBlueBox.com will on Friday nights at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right on the dot. I mean, you got to be really fast. Have like your just your screen refreshing, and you might be able to get a box. This week I did not get a box, but the previous three weeks I was able to score one box in my shopping cart and be able to check out and um, get them. So anyway, they send you five pounds of jewelry. Um, it's repurposed jewelry, so some good, some bad, some broken, some sad, and you just kind of go through it. It's $29.99 plus $5 shipping. Anyway, so now I can stick this on my scale, and we're going to weigh how much I got on this necklace. It says 6.09 grams. I don't really know how much that is, but maybe I'll figure it out and put it on the bottom of this video afterwards. We'll, we'll take the price of silver and see how much I, I got on that. All right, so that is a piece of sterling. Now this particular earring it's, it was 6.09 grams for sh of sterling. So silver price. Yeah. <clears throat> so this earring I was a little perplexed on because it does not say 14 karat, um, but it is not reacting to the magnet okay so it's not but the clasp is see the clasp here and this is not um, so this very well may be a 14 karat um, necklace that we got um, or it could be just electroplated 14 karat gold or it could be gold filled so we're going to have to do some testing with that really cool piece this week which is not gold however it is a an or amethyst crystal okay apparently crystals have healing properties i don't know a bunch of tree huggers um, i don't know healing people metaphysical stuff i don't know what that is but i'm gonna sell it and i'm gonna um, probably sell it for you know 25 bucks i think i may have it up on my poshmark already um, so if you're interested in this i'll also put my poshmark closet name in the link down below so this is going to be for sale when you see this video if it's not already. All right, so um, as I was stating, this bracelet I got at in the Goodwill Blue Box, it is marked with my loop. I was able to see that it's marked 800 sterling. Um, so, and it has some little rubies in it, which makes me think that those might be real. So I don't know, honestly, if this diamond tester tests gems or not. I read somewhere that it does, um, but it'd be interesting just to kind of stick it on one of these gems and see what, see what happens. They're small. Okay. Well, we know they're not diamonds, which we knew already. We know that's metal. I'm on metal. That didn't sound right either. So the other thing coming with the uh, kit is your testing stone, okay? So this is where you test the sterling. So this is where we can test and see. Now, um, again, it does come with the little bars that you can test what you're doing. Um, that's my magnet. So here's our testing stone, and here's our sterling, official sterling. And they say that if you do the 14K acid on it, 
that it should hold, meaning that your line should be still good underneath of this asset. Don't ask me why they say to use the 14K versus um, it comes with platinum, it does come with 18K, 10K, it does come with a silver test solution, but nobody ever, I see, ever buy us. We've opened up the um, acids now, and I'm just going to use the test piece, and we're going to make two lines, okay? Actually, I'm going to make them a little darker. And I'm going to use the 14K first. And you don't want to touch the stone with your tip. Just kind of want to put it on there. All right, so I'm taking the sterling that I know is marked sterling, and I'm just kind of holding it in my finger so that I can get a good rub on the side, okay? And I'm going to make a line here and a line here. Okay, and now we're going to first test it with the 14K solution, and we're going to put a little bit on there. Hi, Athena. And Jesse, that did not hold with the 14K solution. So let's see what the actual silver solution says. Okay, why is not coming out here, dude? All right, that's retarded. I'm squeezing it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to make a little spot on this brick with my sterling chain. We're going to test it there, and we're going to test it there, okay? So we're going to test it with the silver solution. does not look like it's holding to me. We're going to test it now with the 14K solution. And it does not look like it's holding. So, I'm not really sure. Either this is not sterling or my kit is not good. So, hmm, how about that? Um, I do have... The little piece of sterling that they sent me doesn't even test right with these acids. So I'm going to try it again. Okay. One there. And one there. Maybe I didn't scratch enough of the piece. Because now I've really scratched it. Okay. So we're going to try the silver solution. That... I think was the problem because that is holding and now we're also going to try the 14k solution winner winner chicken dinner I think that was the problem because now you can actually still see the line through the acid on both of those pieces I don't think I scratched enough of the product of the silver so let's try it again with the necklaces that we have, okay? I'm going to um, actually scratch really good, okay? Okay, there's one, and there's two, okay? So we're going to first test it with the silver solution. And it's holding. And we're going to test with the 14K solution. And it's not. So, I guess I have a lot more practicing to do is the basics of this kit. It's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not that easy, apparently, to make sure that this all works correctly. Um, I've got some calibrating to do with this, obviously. 
and I've got some learning to do with this apparently um, I'm not even going to go near these and did we Jesse did we refigure out the price of the silver 89 cents a gram 89 cents a gram okay at the moment all right so thank you for tuning in to junk in with Janine like the video please because I'm new and I could use some subscribers um, so hit that subscribe button too and then down in the link if you're interested in buying this kit there's the Amazon link to this particular kit let me know in the comments what you think what I'm doing wrong what I'm doing right um, and I really love to hear from you and um, thanks for tuning in oh I figured out why this diamond thing wasn't working right. You gotta hold this. It determines, I guess, the current through grounding or whatever. So if you hold that, it actually works right. With both hands, you gotta touch the metal too. Oh. With the other hand. Oh. See, you know, gotcha. If you, take, if you take your other hand off, try it. Try it with the hand on and off. Now put your hand on it, damn it. There you go. Oh, you are a smart.